What's on your list today? You'll find it at Fred Meyer. It's 636 and a half. I'm Pat Cashman. This is KJRFM. It's time for the morning's news headlines. Stephen Kilbreth has them, and he's brought to you this time around by Expedia.com. Stephen. Thanks, Pat, and good morning. Governor Gregoire says a favorable state revenue forecast for the next two years will allow budget riders to avoid big cuts in services. And a cup of coffee from McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. That is 38 Special and Caught Up in You. This is 95.7 KJRFM Rock and Roll's Greatest Hits. I'm Pat Cashman. It's great to have you with us this morning. And my, uh, this will be my last, uh, my last go around here today. So, uh, so what, I guess, this is the answer to the so. I'm just going to be sitting in but here I, talking to myself. I'm I, would, I would like to read a, a lovely little piece. Maybe some people have seen this before. This was sent to me earlier this morning and, um, May sound familiar to to some people out there. Here we go. He didn't like the casserole. He didn't like my cake. My biscuits were too hard, he said, not like his mother used to make. I didn't perk the coffee right. And he didn't like my stew. I didn't mend his socks the way his mother used to do. I pondered for an answer as I was looking for a clue, and then I turned around and smacked him, like his mother used to do. It's 6.44. At 95.7 KJRFM, when we say rock and roll's greatest hits, we mean songs from supergroups like The Eagles, Fleetwood Mac, The Beatles, you found the one Seattle radio station playing rock and roll's greatest hits, 95.7 KJR-FM. Well, I was in the uh, Staples store the other day. Uh, I go there, I'd probably go in there every week or so, just pick up various things. Uh, Staples has got it all, uh, from office supplies to paper to printer cartridges, you name it. And it is the place that makes all of that easy. Well, when I was in Staples, I checked out that one-touch stapler. Maybe you've heard about this. It's a revolutionary desktop uh, top stapler with the power of a staple gun. I, I don't know how they came up with this thing, but one touch of this baby drives a staple through 20 sheets of paper, but you barely have to touch it. It might look like an ordinary stapler, but it is the easiest stapler I ever used. And, of course, where would you expect to find it but in the store that makes things easy, Staples. Let me tell you something else. Staples Rewards Program is terrific. As a member, you can save even more on your business essentials every time you shop Staples. In the store, by catalog, or as a lot of people do, shop online. You can do that, too. Go to staples.com, and uh, when you shop staples.com, most of the orders get delivered the very next day. Plus, you get free delivery on orders of 50 bucks or more. Visit staples.com, or stop by an actual store, like the one in Bellevue on Northeast 140th Street, or the, the one in Kent at 104th Avenue Southeast. And actually, there's another one in Kent. That's on East Valley Highway South. It's Staples. Check it out. That was easy. It's rock and roll's greatest hit.
Grand Funk Railroad on 95.7 KJRFM. Pat Cashman Show, thank you for joining us. This is my final day here on the air, and uh, Angel Kirby is here. And, Angel, I just stuck a buck in the food machine out there. Mm -hmm. And it kept my dollar. It it re it's reads that the dollar is the amount I deposited, but it will not give me my selection, C5. Hey, or, that's saying the same as cookies, isn't it? Or any other selection, for that matter. Mm. And uh, this is a sign. This is a sign. Well, I, I will tell you this. I really uh, had a great time uh, during my uh, year and a half or so here at uh, KJRFM. And one of the biggest pleasures and privileges I had was for a period of time, Getting to work with my son. I think any parent who can do stuff with their kids at some point, it, that's just a real privilege. I'm lucky enough to get to write a, a column on Saturdays uh, with uh, with my daughter in the PI. And my son, Chris, uh, came and joined us uh, for a period of time as well. And I remember one morning we were talking about a horrible story. You might remember this, where King County uh, Police, I believe, found a man's thumb. Um in a in a rope swing it was just a, a thumb in a rope it's swing hanging in the rope swing and they delivered it to, to the guy apparently he was 45 years old and i remember we tried to recreate what that might have been like that day the following is a dramatic recreation uh, hello sir hi there just a second, sir. Let's do this again because I screwed up the sound effects. All right. Sorry to slam the door in your All face. Right. Well, you didn't say anything. When the door opens, you say something, sir, okay? The following is a dramatic recreation. Hello? Yes, sir. I'm from the uh, King County uh, Sheriff's Office. Uh, -huh. uh Here's your thumb. My, my thumb? Well, why, yes, it is my thumb. Thank you. This has been a dramatic recreation. <laughs> God, that was screwed up. You think that's the way it went? I don't know if it went like that. Seems like it could have gone a lot more interesting than that. The following is a dramatic recreation. Hello? Yes, um, are you missing a thumb, sir? Yes. Can you describe the thumb? Well, uh, it sort of looks like this one, only from the other hand. Here it is, sir. Thank you. This has been a dramatic recreation. <laughs> no. There's, there's, uh, there's a, at least one other way it could have gone. Though. Yeah, you think? Yeah. The following is a dramatic recreation. Hello. Yes, uh, are you uh, missing a thumb, sir? No, I don't believe so. Let me look at my hand. Oh, my, yes! Oh, no, what has happened? My thumb's missing! We found oh. it. Is it. We found it. It's, we found it in a rope swing. Oh. Here it is. Thank you. I never can creep back at this little bugger. This has been a dramatic recreation. Okay. <laughs> Should we just keep beating There's this only one other, one one other way I can think that it might have been. The following is a dramatic recreation. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh... <laughs> I'm glad I stopped that before the door slamming sound effects. Put uh, your foot in it there. Um, sir, uh, are you missing a thumb? I don't know, a thumb? No, but I am uh, missing my big toe. Hmm. Well, we have a thumb here. Would this work for you? Uh, well, yes, I guess it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> this has been a dramatic recreation. Oh, for crying. Right now, 95.7 KJRFM VIP Club members can enter to win a trip to see the Eric Clapton and Cream a new downtown Sumner. It is just now 7 o'clock. This is KJRFM Seattle, and time for the morning's news again with Stephen Kilbreth. Thanks, Pat. Major League Baseball's commissioner says if he had his way, the sports drug testing policy would be much stricter. A day after testifying on Capitol Hill, Bud Selig told NBC that former slugger Mark McGuire was in anguish when lawmakers questioned him about steroid use. David Letterman is praising the work of Montana police. Yesterday, officials charged a man painting the TV host ranch with plotting to kidnap his son. Soon, like this weekend. So change your life for good by calling 888-42-CITY-U today. These are rock and roll's greatest hits on 95.7 KJR-FM, Seattle.
a smile on your face. Be the 50th nationwide caller right now at 1-866-525-WINS. Then witness the happiest celebration on earth at Disneyland Resort or Walt Disney World Resort with 95.7 KJRFL. It's 709. This is 95.7 KJRFM Rock and Roll's Greatest Hits. I'm Pat Cashman. I was just talking to uh, somebody I used to work with, and maybe some uh, folks out there might remember his name. Gary Hoffman. Does that ring a bell with anyone? Uh, Apparently not. No. Uh, okay, I was just shot in the dark. Um, uh, Gary was uh, the news guy on uh, my show on a previous radio station, uh, and... Uh, he 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 basically now he's on the biggest uh, most successful news station in the United States he's their morning anchor on KFI in Los Angeles so it's kind of like when you're on a roller coaster and there's two cars and one of them's going up and I'm on the one going down that that's that's kind of that blur that I see that yeah. is Gary Hoffman it was nice of him to call this morning and it's nice of you to check us out uh, one more time around for me. But, Angela, you'll be back here next week, right? I will. I'm going to be sitting in this room doing the traffic and the weather and talking to myself. I think maybe um, since I live alone, I should sell my house and move in with a bunch of roommates because, you know, I can't just sit in a room all by myself and talk to myself all the time. That can't be healthy. No, I don't think it is healthy, but you've been doing it for quite a while. Well, that's true. And uh, I still seem to function in society. Okay? I think once you, right? you get once you get into that uh, that kind of uh, lifestyle, I don't. I, I think it may you may find... Uh, that you can't tolerate uh, other roommates, really? other people, or no? Wait a minute, I had it exactly opposite. They can't tolerate you. That's what. For 50 years, 